Alright guys, welcome to Physique by Ando. Today is April 4th, 2014. And I'm currently weighing at 218 pounds right now. So another good week of diet. And usually I do my progress updates on the Saturday. I decided to do on Friday this week because I was going to do chest on Friday and I felt like doing a chest workout on the video. So the first exercise I did was push-ups with some plates on me. I decided to do some unique lifts. I mean, usually I do a lot of free weight stuff, but today was more unique lifts, lifts I don't normally do, just to show you guys some different things you can incorporate into your chest routine. So I started off with three plates, did about six, two plates did about six, one plate also did about six. Then after I did a dumbbell press in which throughout the entire motion, I had one arm halfway up. And this way I could keep like a static stress on the muscle. There's different ways you can put stress on the muscle. You can do it statically, where you kind of constantly hold pressure or tension on the muscle. And it's just different than a normal up and down rep where you'll feel a main contraction in the middle of the movement and towards the bottom of the movement, but not too much at the top. This one, I'm constantly feeling tension with the dumbbell is just halfway up. So this is something, like I said, I don't normally do, but just to switch things up, I decided to do this one today. And I did about 15 total on each side. And even though, like I said, I was pressing with one side, both sides was feeling tension at the same time. So I just did this with 70 pounds. I definitely wanted to get some higher reps in there. And this is another exercise I don't do too often, but it's a real good one for lower chest development. It's called dumbbell pullovers. And there's a couple different ways to do this. You can do this focusing on your chest, which I did today. And you can also do this focusing on your outer and lower back. So in order for you to focus on the chest, you must have that mind-muscle connection. And that's basically just focusing on what you want to train. So with me, I knew I wanted to train chest, so through the entire motion, I focused on my chest. When I moved it back, I felt the stretch in my chest. When I actually pulled it over, I contracted and squeezed my chest. So I started with 70 pounds, and I got a lot of reps in there. It was actually 60 pounds. We even got 15 reps in there, and I did a super set. So after I did the 15 reps with the pullovers, I'm going to show you in a second, I actually stopped with the plate over my chest and then did about another 15 or so presses. And with this one, it's another exercise where you must also have that mind-muscle connection. Because when you, if you just go through the motions, you'll tend to feel this too much in your triceps. But I really focus on squeezing my inner chest and I press with each movement. And that's where you feel this the most, in the inner chest. Because of the angle of your arm, you're going to really feel it in the inner chest. So I went right into a heavier weight. And once again, since I wasn't too familiar with my strength level with the pullovers, since I don't do it too often, I started light. So that's something you should do too. If you're not sure how you're going to react to a certain exercise, start light, get the feel for it, and then move up in weight if you can handle it. So for my second working set, I went to 90 pounds, and I did about 10 plus. Same exact movement. Making sure I feel the stretch, and I squeeze at the top. notice but I'm definitely starting to lean out with each video like I told you guys I'm leaning out so right now I'm 218 starting to look less sloppy people are starting to actually believe that the pictures that I'm posting and the pictures I have of me on my business cards and stuff of me because for some reason some people think I'm full of shit and I have fake pictures so that's another reason I'm po posting these pictures and these videos weekly so people can see the progress from when I first start to when I die down so, once again, I finished that second working set, and then I went to some cable flies. Another movement I don't do too often, but once in a while, just to switch it up, I decided to do this today. And this actual fly is called a cable crossover. If you notice, I have one arm actually crisscross, and then vice versa, vice versa the other arm crisscross. So one time I'll have the left arm over, and the second time I'll have the right arm over. This way, both chest muscles can get equally worked. Because when one arm is over, it feels a little different than when the other arm is over. So just to make sure each chest muscle gets developed the same, I do the same amount of reps with the left over as I do with the right over. After I do the cable crossovers, I do more of a typical fly with the cables in which I bring my hands straight together. And each fly motion, you want to feel two different types of motions. At the beginning and at the end, more of an outer chest, more of an inner chest. And that's the difference between a fly and a press pretty much. You're going to feel more in and out of it. 
and that was the workout for the most part that I showed. I also had some other stuff I decided not to show, but thanks for watching and please subscribe.